Today we had the Dennis Craddock Invitational, which was an excellent meet. Coach Craddock was here. I'd like to thank all the boosters and the help of the Rams Club for making this meet possible. It was a fantastic event. Um, at the Dennis Craddock Invitational, we had a really solid performance. Uh, kids started moving up the uh, national list and solidifying their spots for the ACC championships. Here, I think we had a very balanced day. We got some support from the track, the field, a couple of the, uh, and the pole vault. So I think we had a really good day. Kendra uh, Douglas in the women's quarter, significant PR for her, at least a PR here at UNC, running 58, so a uh, really good improvement. And I think Iman Wilkinson won the 200, so I'm glad to see those ladies have some progress. Sarah Howard in the women's uh, shot put, Sarah threw 55-8, which was a significant PR, moved her position from number 12 in the country up to number 7. And an interesting story about Sarah is that uh, she was a little under the weather earlier this week and we were contemplating on whether to throw or whether not to throw, but we made the decision to throw and it worked out really well for us. I opened up like really two centimeters short of my PR on the first throw. Um, had Ended up having five throws over 16 meters, which was really big. And then my best throw was on the fifth one. The seventh position will hopefully solidify her spot and it'll be her first time qualifying for the NCAA championships as a sophomore. Uh, right now, she is the highest ranked sophomore in the country, which is exciting. It kind of gives me confidence going into the conference meet. Um, and it's nice because it moved up my place in NCAAs too. So it kind of gives like pressure off of that because next week's the last chance to qualify for us. Everything's been leading up to the conference championship next week. Uh, and it's going to be an extremely tight race. When we look at the rough scores, those places from first to fifth are going to be separated by as few as 10 to 15 points. So it's going to be a tight race. Uh, our kids having significant improvements this week bode well for us. Dennis Craddock preceded me here as the head coach, actually recruited me out of high school, so uh, I am one of his uh, disciples. In this history, he's had over 45 ACC championships, been a part of three national championships. But his biggest honor is really that he played the role of mentor and coach for so many of us that were lucky to, to, lucky to be here un, under his tutelage. Uh, he's, a, he's a father, he's a friend, he's a coach, so uh, a lot of praise for what he's been able to accomplish.